Good evening from Buckingham Palace on the eve of history. I'm Lisa Laflamme on special assignment for City TV. After the longest apprenticeship in royal history, Charles will officially be crowned king tomorrow. At 74 years old, the UK and Commonwealth know what to expect. But on the day before the main event, he still managed to surprise his subjects. Just outside Buckingham Palace this afternoon, King Charles paid a visit to the loyal royal fans who've waited days along the Mall to hold a spot for Saturday morning. <laughs> along with the Prince and Princess of Wales, it was a walkabout worth waiting for. An easy conversation about the excitement and nervousness over the big day for the kids and the King. I'm, I'm sure looking forward to it as well, so it's nice to be out here and say hello to everyone who's stayed out for so long. Night and day, these die-hard monarchists have camped out on the curb for the last week. It's already paid off. I thought he would never come to me. He would never come to me. But sure enough, he worked here and shook my partner's hand there. And I thought, well, look, you can't not. So I put my hand out and he shook my hand. So made my year. When he came and shook hands, to think that he would be king tomorrow, and I've done his hand and never want it again. He walked right over to us. He was there, right in front of us. My daughter was stood behind me. She said her legs were shaking. Her legs were really shaking. She was so nervous. Earlier in the day, Charles and Queen Consort Camilla were spotted en route to Westminster Abbey for one final full dress rehearsal in the place they'll both be crowned. On a busy day, the King and his inner circle also had some diplomatic duties hosting Prime Ministers and Governors General, including Mary Simon, here for the pageantry. Ceremonial London is almost ready. Royal staff had palace steps sparkling and the bunting is in position. Even the horses got a run through today, pulling a carriage in Hyde Park. Tomorrow, that plain black carriage will be replaced by the gold state coach carrying the new king and queen. We can also report that Prince Harry was spotted at a small airport near Windsor Castle. He'll be here for his father's coronation tomorrow morning and is then reportedly heading right back to California. A lot of family dynamics at play here and we'll have every moment live tomorrow on City TV and City News 24-7 at 4 a.m. Eastern.